It may not be at the top of your to-do fun events right now, but it should be. Just a few gallons of gas outside of Bend and you're crossing a one-lane wooden bridge over the emerald blue-green Metolius River and into the Wizard Falls fish hatchery at Camp Sherman. We raise four different strains of rainbow trout. Uh, rainbow trout are very widely distributed fish and our geographic region is also very wide. So fish that work well in one area won't necessarily work well in another. Rainbow trout have a lot of adaptations, uh, but we also raise Atlantic salmon, brook trout, kokanee, and spring chinook. We raise fish anywhere from six months to three years, depending on the species and what we're trying to do with them. Doug Curtis has been tending to this ever-changing biological resource of fish at Wizard Falls for more than 20 years now. And he's proud of how widespread his harvest is distributed. If you cover about 51% of the land mass of Oregon, primarily starting on the west slope of the Cascades and heading east all the way to the Idaho border. That's the geographic range that we cover. If you're wondering, we're talking about three million fish, give or take a few thousand, that are produced and distributed from Wizard Falls Hatchery every year. Yep, three million. Many of the lakes and reservoirs in Oregon have no populations of indigenous or wild fish in them. They do have a lot of feed availability. The fish will thrive in a growing population. They just don't have the ability to successfully procreate themselves. What I primarily do here is um, culture fish, take them out to those water bodies, uh, plant them or um, put them into the water body, they will grow and thus create a fishery for people to have a harvestable opportunity. If I don't stock those lakes and reservoirs, there won't be any fishery. There would be East Lake, Polina Lake, Haystack Reservoir, Three Creeks Lake, Pine Nursery Pond. Um, those are just a, a list of some of the lakes in the area. The list is hundreds. Besides the lush surroundings that make up Wizard Falls, Dave will make sure you leave knowing a lot more about fish than when you arrive. They're a hybrid. They are a cross between a female brook and a male brown. A fish is a fish is a fish is not true. The behaviors from one group to the next, one species to the next, vary dramatically as far as the feed quality or the feed types that they will use or not use, the amount of pressure from people surrounding them, how much of that sort of a pressure they will tolerate. Um, their willingness to live in the sun or a shady environment, the depth of the water that they will thrive in, the densities that you can rear them in, all of those things that we use in culturing the fish varies dramatically from one species to the next. Watching these floods of fish is fun at any age. Your kids will really get a kick out of it. They're very excited. Um, Creation is a very exciting thing to children. And when it's on this, this much of it on display, yeah, excitement and enthusiasm is pretty much universal with children. It's really cool seeing all the fish below you and seeing you feed them. The part that I like the most is feeding the fish also because it gets me a chance to see the stuff that I almost never will catch on the river. There's some big, big, beautiful fish in that pond. What do they eat? Uh, we use several different commercially prepared diets. Um, the primary ingredient in quality feeds is fish, fish meal. The best thing to grow a fish is a fish. Fish eating fish is a natural part of their life cycle. It's what they do. They have a very high demand for crude protein, and fish uh, meal is an excellent source of that. Dave says of all the fish he raises at Wizard Falls, the relatively new effort of reintroducing spring Chinook into their native waters is his favorite. The fact that they can go out into the most hostile environment on the planet and make it back is a testament that that's a durable animal. So uh, I have, uh, I guess it was respect would be the word, um, admiration. They're an incredible animal.